Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition. Welcome to this morning's edition of the Coffee with Craig show. We're here at the international uh, law firm of Wolf Tice talking to Taras Dumich, uh, managing director for Ukraine. And Taras, good, thank you for being on the show and good to see you. Hello, good, good, good to see you and thank you for having me. Craig. Yeah, thank you for your time. Great to be here in your office. Very nice place. I really enjoy it and great location. I like that you're near the Fairmont Hotel and all these nice restaurants around here. And um, let's just start by, give us your experience of, you know, the first days of the war and, you know, even some personal or business, business uh, experiences and how, what was happening to you? Yeah. So the, the war for us started from the very morning. Okay. Because uh, we live in a, a suburb of Kiev called Irpin. Mm -hmm. And uh, Irpin is uh, basically our house is uh, three or four kilometers from the airport of Ostomo, which uh, Russian army was trying to capture from the very morning. Right. So, uh, you know, from the very morning, we had helicopters and, and aircraft flying over our house. And, uh, and then we had... Uh, artillery mm -hmm. of the Ukrainian army st started uh, shooting at uh, the Russian army. Mm -hmm. So that, that was our start, you know, with, with our neighbors. Uh, we had organized some kind of a local uh, self-defense. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, during the first night, we were patrolling uh, our neighborhood, uh, though, you know, the only weapon that I had was a golf Club. A golf club, a wedge, well, a wedge golf club. Okay, which, well, okay. and it, well, you're still alive, so uh, right. a wedge. Okay, right, um, and 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 so you know we 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 were able to see that uh, this type of war and, and the fightings were of the artillery nature, and uh, there was really little we could uh, do mm -hmm. you know, with with a golf club, and and there is. Uh, and there was really no secure place for, for us, for my family and for another kid whom we brought uh, to our house, uh, being secure. Mm -hmm. And we saw that uh, uh, the fights are coming closer and closer uh, to our house. So we basically decided to, to drive out and we had to flee. Mm -hmm. And Within uh, a couple of days or within a day, yeah? Yeah, it was, it was uh, uh, the second evening, basically the day okay. and mm -hmm. the, uh, the evening on the, of the second day. So and you could hear it, see it. We you we saw it. Knew yeah, what was going we, we on. Hear, huh? Absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, so we we were still lucky to be able to drive out because mm -hmm. uh, days after people couldn't drive out uh, of Irpin, and uh, so you know you could remember uh, the photo of people hiding under the bridge. Right. Right. So yeah. It's, yeah. So it, the, the, that is the bridge in in my town. And, wow. Uh, so yeah. they so they couldn't drive out because because the Russians were there blocking them. The, the mm -hmm. Russians were on the uh, western side of mm -hmm. the of the town, and and the bridges were uh, blown up on the eastern side. So and and there were shootings uh, going on, and uh, and Russians uh, entered the uh, Irpin and entered mm -hmm. Bucha, mm -hmm. and 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 so that's uh, you know basically. Uh, those suburbs uh, were the battlefield uh, right. uh, of the Kiev battle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where the the the, the main uh, fights were going on. In addition to uh, to some other suburbs on the east and, uh, and 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 southeast. Well, I'm glad you left when you did. Yes, yes, we were. You know, I consider us ourselves really lucky that right. that uh, we did that. And so you you left there, and where did you go after that, or what was your yeah, we went, uh, we, we drove to Transcarpathia. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the place that we had to evacuate the kit whom we uh, had evacuated from Kiev on the first day of mm -hmm. the war. Uh, so we went to Transcarpathia. We spent 44 hours uh, mm -hmm. driving because there were a lot of jams uh, on the roads and we also had to go to smaller towns to get petrol for our car. Because yeah. normally it would be about a six or eight hour drive, yeah? Or it, longer, a little it longer. It would be not, not more than nine hours, for right. sure. Okay. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, driving not like a crazy uh, drive. Sure, sure. Yeah, normal drive, it would be, yes, nine, nine, nine hours. Because, uh, you know, Ukraine is a big country. Yeah, so yeah, nine, yeah. Nine sure. hours, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, like a day drive anyway. It's like driving across Europe, yeah. Right, yeah. yes. And uh, so and, uh, we, we, we came to Transcarpathia. 
we stayed there for about a month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in that time, uh, you know, we were organizing uh, our, our, our business, our people, coordinating mm -hmm. for uh, the people to, uh, for those who could uh, flee abroad, uh, for them to do that. And, uh, and uh, part of our team went to Vienna, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. through Slovakia or Hungary. Uh, we have a lawyer who uh, went to Warsaw, and, and, right. and, and I saw well. the announcement on the the Warsaw, the, those right. different moves. Yeah. Yeah. So the the Wolf Tice office in in uh, here in Kiev, just the door was locked and closed. I guess for yeah, it was closed. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had to to do that mm -hmm. uh, also for the security reasons because sure. uh, there were you know fights going on uh, on the streets, not because you know the, the 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 city was basically occupied, but because there were some. A groups of uh, Russian militaries that somehow they got into the city yeah. and uh, probably here waiting or something. Yeah, or, you know, could be, yeah. it could mm -hmm. be, and uh, so it wasn't uh, secure for sure. So the office was closed, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and and again we had uh, the whole firm basically uh, the, those offices uh, abroad. Uh, just uh, facilitating and helping mm -hmm. people who could go abroad, come abroad, you know, uh, they were uh, picked up at the borders and then, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, they were drawn to, uh, to, to, to the uh, cities like Vienna or, mm -hmm. or Warsaw. So that's how, uh, and, and uh, our, our colleagues in, in those cities, uh, in Warsaw and Vienna, they were organizing housing and, 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 and other uh, assistance, not just to our own employees, but... Uh, but yeah, to uh, a lot. Yeah, you guys are doing a lot. I know in, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the commercial real estate and law firms and, you know, trying to help out Ukraine as much as, as much as possible. So you moved... You basically left Urpin in in at the end of or in in February, and then now I understand you're back. Yeah, you've. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been I've been back uh, to Kiev basically since uh, permanently since the beginning of May. Mm -hmm. So in in uh, in April we came uh, we went uh, we moved from Transcarpathia to Lviv, and mm -hmm. Lviv is a, a hometown of mine. Uh, my mother living in Lviv, yeah. so we stayed with my mother. And very nice, very nice town to visit. I mean, not under those conditions, I guess, but yeah, still good to absolutely, have some family. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, uh, and from Lviv, we were going uh, uh, to Irpin together with my wife. So we were coming uh, to Irpin like for a couple of days just mm -hmm. to spend time fixing our house. And at the time we had no power, no water. So we were, you know, mm -hmm. when we drove to, to our home, we, we brought a lot of water, you know, and uh, uh, we bought uh, this uh, LPG gas so ah. we could cook for ourselves. So we were, right. you know, like, like scouts. So know. a little bit like camping, yeah? It, it was like camping, uh -huh. right. Because, you know, uh, 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 it was still a cold weather. So mm -hmm. we had a, a fireplace all the time uh, going on going. and running. And so, you know, we fixed uh, as much as we could. Uh, we, we fixed our home. We were lucky that we still uh, had home yeah we were what you know watching if you're watching uh, internationally you're watching cnn and some of these other of course they're filming in urpin and you just think yeah. wow there's nothing left when you're looking at a lot of the yeah. a lot of the news footage so you know i'm happy your house was standing still yes right right and actually that uh, you know there is a big block of uh, i mean uh, a residential building of about seven or f uh, six floors mm -hmm. uh which was hit by an air bomb mm -hmm. and that that is a, a block which is you know i don't know two minutes drive from our home and that is the block where you know the, the foreign politicians are being brought to mm -hmm. so you know that's the one they're showing in every news report okay. yes that exactly and mm -hmm. and uh, it was sad that you know we had a visit of uh, what it was uh, german chancellor uh president macron and i think it was the prime minister of italy who who were reported that they were coming to Kiev to kind of convince our president to to negotiate mm -hmm. peace with uh, Russians. Right. However, after they visited the European, they, they kind of uh, had changed their mind that, yes, it, uh, it, yeah. it's, it's, it hits home when you actually see it. You exactly. know, it, it's easy to sit in Paris and say everything will be OK and just be friends again. But when you're there, 
and yes. you see the disaster, it's not so nice, is it? Yeah. Yes. Good yes. to bring them. Good to bring the rest of Europe to see what's going on. Yeah, you know? to see what's really going on. Yeah, to see yeah. what's really going on. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy to watch it from the TV and say, oh, okay, and flip the channel. And now, good they saw it. And yeah, I think there's, they had, a, I can see that, uh, you know, really right after that, that, um, you know, the, the, the uh, prime minister you know, of uh, Germany really changed really changed the kind of the tone of the politics towards this war after that. So I think it was, it's always good to bring people to see what's really happened, yeah? Right. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.